All right, so we're live. I'm just going to, to very quickly share the uh, link with you. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll share it with you on WhatsApp. Taki, you can share that forward as well, and we'll see people's comments and questions and everything at the same time. And uh, I've shared that link with you on. Uh... OK, great. Um, thank you for joining us. Yasir and uh, last time, unfortunately, for uh, for te technical reasons, we weren't able to uh, have a conversation. Um, and since since then, we've had uh, five or six different people uh, online, and we've had really productive conversations with them about environmental issues, and uh, more specifically with with the the work that they themselves do as well. So, इसीलिए आपके आपके साथ जो session है या फिर वो uh, focused है environmental art and education के ऊपर um, and um, also on the Green Pakistan Coalition uh, that you've started with the lawyers and everything. Um, but uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, work uh, and uh, what you're teaching and about environmental art and education? Okay, so. Um, to begin with, uh, I'm an artist, uh, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm a different kind of artist. So since the 60s, uh, a lot of artists have moved into conceptual art. Huh? So I'm a conceptual artist. So I work with ideas more than I work with materials. Okay, so the idea is the key thing. So, um, and so, you know, technology becomes a tool um, and you work with people. Uh, and you know the thing with technology is that you know it's created by people, but if it doesn't serve people, uh, it becomes uh, detrimental to your quality of life and all kinds of things. You can see it happening in cities and everywhere. So what I'm trying to do is um, through art, uh, using uh, different concepts, new concepts, to uh, sort of recast things in a way. Okay, that mm -hmm. includes politics. So you can see that uh, my involvement with politics is to uh, look at what's happening, try to connect people, mm -hmm. get it together, but reconceptualize the whole thing. You know, for mm -hmm. contemporary times, for contemporary power structures, everything. So you have to reconceptualize mm -hmm. and, you know, come into this fresh ground. And so, you know, this is how my art links up with, um, you know, activism or environment. Uh -huh. and, you know, <laughs> I completely agree. Uh, the, the environment is very political and uh, also expressions uh, or mediums of expressions such as art and even music and even education to, to, to a certain extent is very political as well or uh, at least tools that can be used to spread awareness. Acha, before we go deeper into the conversation, um, um, we've only just started. Um, as you all know that Karachi, uh, well, uh, the, the COVID-19 situation, of course, is going on already. And that's why we're just live uh, uh, w w uh, like with you through like you know your home and my home. But um, at the same time, today, Karachi is, go uh, is, is, is going through a pretty devastating tragedy. Jo jahaz ka jo hai, uh, crash hua hai. So uh, I, like, I, I was thinking that maybe we should go for a, for about 30 seconds of uh, silence. Or so, like, let's observe that for about 30 seconds and then we'll start uh, the conversation. Yeah? Yes. So for the next 30 seconds. Okay, um, great. Um, so, so yeah. So let's uh, move more into the uh, into into what you do. So, uh, why don't you tell us about how you teach 
uh, environmental education and even environmental art at uh, your school. I believe you 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 teach at IOBM, correct? Yes. yes. Um, I'm teaching at IOBM. I've taught at other universities as well. Uh, the course I'm teaching right now is called uh, EcoLab, and uh, it's a it's a it's a course that uh, I designed from scratch. And sorry what's the what's the course called again could you it's called sorry uh, repeat that i apologize yeah it's called eco lab eco lab eco lab yeah See. um and you know uh, uh it's eco so it has to do with the environment and and its processes and understanding that mm -hmm. and it's a lab so it's a lab in the sense that you lean a little bit on on science and technology but at the same time you're, you're also being creative again, you know, and you try to understand, make connections in your world, and, and you try to improve things. So that's why it's an equal lab. So that's that's the course and uh, that I'm teaching at uh, IOB, and this is the second year that I'm teaching it. And uh, this is Great. part of their social um, environment program of, that they have over there. So I'll do this. So I, is, okay, huh. Sorry, so go, I, go ahead. Would you? Yeah. Uh, prior to this, um, uh, I've worked a lot in schools before that, and uh, that was interesting because uh, well, I was running a, a green school program in each of those schools, and the first thing that involved was making a farm inside that school and having you know environmental classes and environment concepts introduced to the students in that mm -hmm. farm. Hello. Yes. So okay. So as far as uh, the the like the eco lab and everything is concerned, you said that you've been you've yeah. been te teaching it for uh, quite some time, for about two years. Or so, so has that had any effect, uh, or uh, like have, have have the students actually learned from it? Have you seen any? Because you you a lot of classroom, there are many things that are taught in the classroom. Then does that be like is, is that used or is, is that utilized in the real in, in real life or not for example a, a, a lot of students complain that you know a lot of math concepts are not used in real life so you, what you teach i believe is very uh, practical correct so have, have you seen any practical changes in this in, in, in how the students behave and uh, how the students um, you know interact with the environment Oh yes, I mean uh, it's part of my job to do that and uh, to kind of reconfigure minds uh, in a way uh, which is based on science and information and all that. So I mean the, 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 uh, uh, it, it's um, one of the things that I'm trying to do with this course is, is with, with these you know 20 year old students uh, who have not been yeah. outside of the city or the world, to get to know how the institutions work and everything, so it's it's kind mm -hmm. of to introduce them, you know, with a with a kind of uh, helping hand to, to to take them out into the world. And seventy percent of the course was a project that they had to do outside the classroom and outside the campus. So this was a requirement, and within that, the project Achha. they had to introduce some kind of change or or create something new. So uh, this time, for example, there's a hydroponic, um, uh, indoor hydro hydro hydroponic unit that someone made. Uh, there is, um, you know, other recycling, upcycling kind of projects. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, some of the projects were cut short at the concept level because of the lockdown. Because nobody could step out this time. Mm -hmm. So. So that implementation uh, component, uh, instead of doing that, what mm -hmm. we did was, we said, okay, how can we use the internet? And so we wrote a collaborative document uh, mm -hmm. about the possibility of an electronic or e-government for the government of E-government? Yes, e-government. Okay. See, because mm -hmm. this relates mm -hmm. to you as a citizen, as a global citizen, as a Pakistani citizen, mm -hmm. 
engaging mm-hmm. with the of the state, you know. So mm-hmm. public participation is very really important, and as an active citizen, you 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 supposed to do that. You know? So mm-hmm. so we do it. We 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 are you know we are trying to retune our relations with the government, you know, and so this is this is one way to do it. Mm-hmm. So we we made this no, document. It's got all the mm-hmm. issues of the main, the main issues of sin, you know. So it's got environment, it's got water, it's got wildlife, it's got uh, you know about seven different uh, topics, and uh, we have this document that the students have prepared on the main issues of that, um, and uh, I think we've got some sketches of uh, what the dashboard. If you're using it on uh, on the mm-hmm. web, the dashboard mm-hmm. would look like. Suppose. You know, you, you start using this uh, online government service. So, what's the first screen that you're going to see? So, Sahih. so we designed that. Too. Sahih. Uh, that's that's actually really interesting. Like how we can, um, I guess, plus also 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 going online due to COVID and everything. Yeah. It's 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 a balance, right? So yeah. before that, of course, you would have to come to school, and so you 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 you're you know like traveling by car, and you're using a lot of electricity and so on. But then again, now you're not traveling by car, you're not going to school, you're at home. But at the same time, you 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 still have to use electronics, and uh, you still have to um, you know use some form of energy, just, just, just which of course is a bit difficult um, uh, to avoid in today's. Uh, you know, in in, in in today's world, but yeah. have you have you had a had had a, had a conversation with your students as to how to avoid that or as to how to move towards renewable um, energy and uh, so that you know we could be completely uh, independent of fossil fuel and other uh, things that would you know ruin the environment. Yeah, I think I think uh, this question is. Uh uh, what you alluded to before also, like the, the whole culture side of things, the whole lifestyle kind of things. So, mm-hmm. uh, because that that's in terms of like the big companies, it's it's your consu- it's the consumer side. You know, what is mm-hmm. the consumer side thing? If they want a particularly mm-hmm. bad uh, 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 device, which is particularly bad for the environment, I mean, mm-hmm. what can you do, right? So the companies, you know, stay with their old models. So, um, so changing tastes, Changing lifestyles is, is very important, and mm-hmm. there are there's a whole bunch of things that the students are required to do. One of them is to grow food in their homes. So see, mm-hmm. food is transported, uh, burns fuel. Uh, in the process, it is less fresh. But if you grow food within the city, and if you know how to grow food, you also know a particular survival skill. Mm-hmm. So, so that's one example. Then you have plastic. So no more plastic bottles, you know, buy a bottle mm-hmm. that you can use uh, for multiple uses, not just a single use thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, and then recycle, reduce waste, whether it is mm-hmm. you know, organic waste, your household waste, packaging waste, mm-hmm. area, you know, all of that stuff. Sort of so minimize. Yeah. So it's like, you know, uh, go towards a simpler and uh, and uh, 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 a minimalistic lifestyle, you know, yeah. I mean, because life is getting more and more complicated, and so, mm. so one of the goals is is, is to move, move closer to nature, in the sense mm. that if you live in the city, I mean, you know, where is nature? So you mm. you have to uh, start. For example, um, I counted uh, seven different uh, birds uh, last summer that visited. Um, you know the environments where I live, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, in, in different parts of the city, the birds are completely different. There's a completely mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. Set of birds in Bahadurabad Park, and a completely different mm-hmm. uh, set of birds in Karachi University, and and so this is the urban, uh, you know, the bird population, mm-hmm. insect population, and all of these things. So, uh, mm-hmm. uh, so as city dwellers, we we. We have to learn to coexist with, with all of these. So mm. you know, there's a, there's a certain sense of compassion. Also, because we're living here with mm. your fellow living beings and all that. So you know, you, you become sensitive to these kind of things. You know, okay. that's part of it. 
acha also uh, speaking of changes uh, um, in 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 lifestyle and you know and art and everything i guess last year we 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 had that uh, pretty successful um uh climate march which i feel could 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 be better because uh, i mean it was successful in the sense because we were able to pull people out but i like i feel like it could have been better because there were only maybe 3000 4000 people uh, in in karachi out of the, uh, like which is a city of 15 to 20 million uh, more people should have been uh, out on the streets but um of course a, a march like that cannot i guess happen in the in the time of corona so we will we'll have to adjust uh, to that somehow magar mai ye wo discuss karna cha raha tha ki while we were having that march um you had some ideas uh about like so you 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 had some artistic ideas as to how to you know um uh express uh, or how to show what living in a devastated environment is like um uh, one of which i believe was uh, was a refugee camp jo ke internally displaced logon ke ke liye ke hawa ke lifestyle ko depict karne ke liye tha the people that were displaced due to the flood right to usme but like of course unfortunately practically it was a bit difficult to get done to like as 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 far as the balance is concerned of uh, art and uh, practicality uh, how do you think we could uh, find that balance and how do you think art in a city like pakistan or, or, or sorry in, in in a city like karachi jahan pe waise hi jo kehte hain art aur environment dono zara se um, mainstream jo kehte hain topics nahi hain to how can we bring that to the front for example uh, i mean karachi binale was a good great start like do you have any other suggestions yeah um uh, when i was the uh, i was an artist uh, the karachi kehare 2019 and also 2017 which was the first one um and uh, uh there's a criticism of the biennale that it was uh, it didn't uh, really attract um uh, you know what what you would call masses of karachi so that it was a kind of an elitist kind of an event uh mm-hmm. and i i um uh while that might be true for most art uh, institutions and gallery system and all of that mm-hmm. but uh, at the same time within art and practicing artists in in the in the work of practicing artists engaging with people is one of the four things that they do in their artworks so engagement with the public right uh, an engagement in a way which is a dialogue which is a conversation which uh, gives you new perspectives uh, which introduces mm-hmm. you to new ways of looking at things and and you know and, and and as an artist you can you can you know resolve things or you can leave things muddled for people to mull over so but it is to make those suggestions in public mm-hmm. See, being in public is, is is really really important because you then you get out of your you know your own wells you know you kind of step out into the open arena and, and one thing that we Pakistanis have forgotten how to do is we we've, we've lost trust in the public we think it's this insecure area well uh, but at the same time there 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 is a very long tradition of uh, being on the street. the uh, uh, knowing everybody who's around you um mm-hmm. engaging with them knowing their problems and mm-hmm. and being a part of solutions of their problems so this kind mm-hmm. of engagement with the political engagement with the social mm-hmm. uh, is part of many art work also so uh-huh. is uh, so it depends on the artist depends on the uh-huh. perspective not all artists are political not all artists all artists mm-hmm. work with social some mm-hmm. of them can be you know more in times towards uh, aesthetic points you know that's mm-hmm. completely fair um but we have a lot of variation and uh, last this biennale uh, uh, theme was environment and, and so all of the artworks had something to do with the mm-hmm. uh, environment and it was a huge scale it had uh, the theme was the theme was ecology right theme to ecology yeah. hi tha uh-huh. yeah Yeah. yeah that's right that's right and my own work was about air and air quality so i had i made this um, uh installation so when you when you entered the room it was a dark room mm-hmm. 
and um, there was a flashing light and mm -hmm. if the air quality was bad the light would flash faster and Achha. if the air quality was good it would slow mm -hmm. down and in the room the room was uh, uh, made of sort of like a from from the from the from the roof to the to the to the, you know, the to the floor, it had mm -hmm. these plastic panels which were made of like AC shelves, and in the middle middle there was this um, huge tire basically, and which was kind of like this portal to the outside. So it, it was kind mm -hmm. of like a, like uh, the idea of a spaceship Earth that we have to manage our own resources. This Same. idea of spaceship spaceship Earth comes from Buckminster mm -hmm. Fuller. You know the idea that you know the Earth is a spaceship and we have to manage mm -hmm. it. So I was playing with that idea, but also drawing attention to uh, the air quality things, and and of course these were air conditioners. Mm -hmm. Achha, similarly, uh, uh, what's it called the Lahoti this time was uh, about the environment as well. February uh, starting in February. And Lahoti actually happened just in the nick of, uh, nick of time before the COVID thing hit and everything started shutting down. So I'm glad that it happened. And I'm, and, and I'm glad that uh, both Karachi Benale, Climate March, Karachi Benale and Lahoti had a pretty um, big uh, impact. And like the, 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 the great conversation starters. And hopefully, you know, staying at home due to Corona is not going to stop that uh, conversation. That's why I started this in uh, online session as well. So you, you, you were there at Lahoti too, right? So La, uh, because uh, I was there as well. So uh, Lahoti me apka kya wo tha session tha? Yeah, it's interesting you uh, uh, pointed to Lahoti because it's like one of those things. It's kind of followed up from the climate march, really. Uh, uh, so we were in uh, that frame of mind and everything. Exactly. And, uh. and, and so at Lahoti. Um, Obviously, Lahuti is a is a you know it is a music festival. It gets a lot of people from all over Sin. It's popular. Mm. It's young people. It's a lot of you know fun and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it, had, it had a lot of cultural and ethnic kind of stuff there mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, well, because the theme was uh, environment, and we thought you know how do we do something in public which engages mm -hmm. the public in some way. And which goes a bit deeper into issues of the environment. So, mm -hmm. you know, organizing at a very uh, short notice, we said, okay, we, we do kind of a fun workshop uh, mm -hmm. kind of a thing in which there are groups of people and, you know, we switch things and then, you know, we keep talking about, you know, mm -hmm. important things. Again, things like water mm -hmm. and, you know, air and, and these kind of things uh, and garbage and, you know. So, that turned out, out to be a lot of fun because we didn't know who was going to attend and uh, we had these four or five experts on uh, particular mm -hmm. issues and, and mm -hmm. they, had, they, they, they had a great time talking about the issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, I, and uh, right after your session, I believe uh, Mera Bhi, which was in the next session, I had cut up, <clears throat> I had actually brought um, these trash bag liners uh, from the, that we received uh, garbage can and received from barbecue tonight, <clears throat> and then we 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 and the, the huge liners, the huge dustbins, and I just brought in twenty or thirty of them, uh, and we we cut them up and ha had them you know uh, spread out end to end. Or uh, was only thirty or forty of those trash bag liners were equal to fifty or sixty people standing you know right sh sh shoulder to shoulder uh, next to each other. So, like the, the the physical representation, the visual was uh, pretty um, powerful, and that's I guess what art and everything uh, is uh, is all about. It's it's about that visual represent uh, representation and uh, like and about that conversation. So okay, so speaking of politics and speaking of experts and everything, um, so you recently started the Green Pakistan Coalition. Okay, like I, I was there for the first two or two or three meetings as well, and then of course, like I, I went to the U.S. and then uh, Corona hit. Just give us, unfortunately, uh, uh, like I I haven't been able to um, you know uh, interact as much, and and I, I need to get back into the groove on that as well. But um, Green Pakistan Coalition ka naam, why don't you uh, you know highlight highlight 
that because I remember that that was a huge uh, conversation as well as to what the name should be and what message the name um, should uh, deliver. Yeah. And so, yeah. what, what, the, what does Green Pakistan Coalition stand for? And uh, why did you choose to create it with lawyers? Yeah. So, this is definitely a follow up to the climate march. Uh, mm -hmm. in, the sense that, in the sense that uh, uh, there was a realization among you know, friends, and while we were talking, we, 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 we thought that uh, law was an area in which uh, the laws were there. Uh, mm -hmm. They were uh, not being implemented, or in some cases, the law just wasn't there to regulate X, Y, Z. You know, whether it's air or water or whatever. And uh, if uh, if uh, uh, so, talking to uh, uh, the senior lawyer, uh, Walid Ansari. Um, Walid Ansari, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I, I I suggested, you know, why don't we make a group uh, which focuses on environmental law and policy making and so it, it's also mm -hmm. a law group which uh, mm -hmm. persuades you know influences people mm -hmm. who are um, in positions of power are in institutions decision making institutions mm -hmm. uh, who because of, a, of of lack of knowledge or lack of institutional support are mm -hmm. not performing their duties and as a result mm -hmm. If you remember, I, I always point this out: the ease that we that we had before uh, uh, last year, Eid al Adha. Mm -hmm. The whole uh, uh, system of the city, whether it's drainage, whether it's um, mm -hmm. water, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's garbage, whether it's uh, exactly. of uh, uh, animal carcasses um, mm -hmm. uh, with rain, and you know, 200 millimeters mm -hmm. of rain down in the city. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, because of electrification, I mean, which system would you say is, is was functioning? Exactly. And, uh, and, and, and so this, uh, uh, we we decided to act on that. You know, mm -hmm. why? I mean, talking about climate resilience, which means flexibility, mm -hmm. does not arise mm -hmm. if the system does not exist and mm -hmm. function. So we are very far away from, you know, people who uh, just talk about the climate. But mm -hmm. don't have to go about you know environment within the city. You know mm -hmm. half the population of our country, more than half, lives in the city now, and mm -hmm. uh, in the in the cities now, and and so you can say the majority of Pakistanis live in cities, whether they are smaller towns mm -hmm. or bigger cities, you know, and uh, so these are city problems. Right. Bilkul, exactly. I mean, uh, and uh, like, I feel like there's some sort of disconnect between um, the people and uh, the environment in, 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 in uh, Pakistan, especially in Karachi, or maybe the, the, the people in power, the, 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 the authorities want to create that disconnect. Um, and it's, it's, the, and that it's, a, it's a very deliberate effort to do so. Because I feel like not many people are able to connect Pani ka masla with the environment, kachre ka masla with the environment, um, jo, uh, the, the animal carcass problem with the environment, the spread of diseases with the environment. I mean, all of that <clears throat> is, are environmental issues. I mean, b b because, okay, so, so uh, let, let's take flies and mosquitoes, for example, de dengue virus, for example. Uh, I mean, that that's there through, uh, because of mosquitoes that are, uh, you know, uh, found on stagnant water. So th that is an environmental issue right there. Why, why is there stagnant water? This is and there's stagnant water uh, on this on the uh, on the roads and in the nalas because all the nalas are clogged, right? <laughs> then the, yeah. exactly. And then there are there, there are flies on garbage. Why are there fly, why are there uh, flies on garbage? Because there's garbage in in the nalas themselves. And then where is all that like when, the, the, the the little bit of garbage and nalas that flow? Where do they flow to? They flow and they end up in the ocean. The mangroves dying off, the mangroves being overused for fuel and everything. Again, all of these are very political issues, but at the same time, uh, they're, they're, they're environmental issues. So, I mean, hopefully through Green Pakistan Coalition, we'll be able to explain to people or we'll be able to, you know, take up these issues. 
um, uh, with the with the with the concerned authorities, so you know, like that that people think that are not very political. So, do do you think Green Pakistan Coalition will be able to do that? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, I can tell you much more of what's going on inside right now because right now I feel the speed has gone, you know, a few notches up, and there are different mm -hmm. working groups forming inside. So there's a CEO one, there's an information one, and I think one mm -hmm. or two more will soon come up. Uh, but your question is very interesting and very relevant. Uh, our problem is that the way that uh, the media covers uh, environment and city issues is that you know the city, city uh, reporters and city editors uh, uh, are different from people who are covering the environment. That does not make sense in real life. Exactly. Similarly, mm -hmm. the way that uh, 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 people think about the environment in government circles, for example, economists, for them, econom for, for many economists of an older mindset, uh, uh, environment is a distraction. For people uh, who think that progress lies in making big dams, uh, environment and people protesting Actually. because their villages will be inundated by water and they'll be forced to move. That's, mm -hmm. That was the way that Mangla and Karbela were built. They were like 80,000, 100,000 mm -hmm. people were told to leave, you know, the whole valley and it was flooded. Mm -hmm. uh, this kind of environmental discussion is totally unacceptable today. So in real life, things are all, things are all interrelated to each other. And, and you know, mm -hmm. if, you go to a, if you go to a village or if you, if you go to any household in Karachi, see, the, the children are getting mm -hmm. educated. You know, there is a, you know, you, you buy things from supermarkets, you see, but it all comes together in the house. So it's all related. Mm -hmm. Similarly, mm -hmm. similar, um, all these different things like water, like air, like um, soil. Um, and if you consider a city, you see, before the city, there it was either, you know, just land or rock or desert or a river. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a natural landscape where slowly, the, the city grew and it started generating its own waste and now what there were new problems mm. what was the waste you know and and so on so mm. we are in, in 2020 now but we if, if we are still living uh, you know the way we were living in 1500 you know it's it, it's mm. it's really crazy and it is totally unacceptable so uh, we are trying to figure out the easiest ways to to uh, you know get rid of this um, uh, basically, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, things have fallen into disrepair, into irrelevant, mm -hmm. because a whole set of people are exploiting the system for their own gain. So it is a political mm -hmm. fight. And it's going to be, uh, I think we are in a very good position because we are the ones who mm -hmm. are on the side of the law. We are the ones who are mm -hmm. uh, trying to gather all these elements of nature, earth, water, fire, heat, together. Mm -hmm. And they are together. Mm -hmm. They are not separate. By 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 mm -hmm. breaking up the city into cantonments and you know uh, different districts and all of that, basically you are not thinking of the city as a unitary system, as an organism. And if mm -hmm. you think about, if you, if you, if you think in, in terms of the environment and ecology, you need to think of the earth as an organism. You need to think mm -hmm. of the, the, the weather system uh, as, as 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 a single. Entity, you know, it's that mm -hmm. problem on the cell, basically. And exactly, you're thinking of the uh, the city, and you're thinking of recycle uh, recyclables and garbage. And unless you you build in, you know, these circular systems which reuse everything, you're going to end up with these massive uh, uh, state of affairs, which are uh, which bring down the quality of life, like they have in mm -hmm. Karachi. Mm -hmm. so Bilkul, because, exactly. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and, and environment is, is, is about the quality is, is about the quality of life as well. And it's, it's, it's about the basics of life, I guess. Um, and you, you're absolutely correct. What I've noticed in Pakistan, um, environmental issues are seen as a distraction or are used as a distraction um, or say are ignored. Uh, for, for example, there's an EPA hearings. Eh? Um, uh, from what I, what, from what I heard, uh, like, uh, the Karachi ke paas, jo nuclear reactors, but when EPA hearing, 
तो इन्वायरमेंट के सवाल को किस तरह से दबाया गया था कि दे वर लोकल्स प्रेजेंट ओवर देयर दैट स्टार्टेड प्रोटेस्टिंग के दीज इन्वायरमेंटलिस्ट आर कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट क्रिएटिंग लाइक क्रिएटिंग जॉब्स like the like the, it, 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 they twisted the the intent completely instead instead of saying that like the environmentalists are concerned about the the local safety what they what they what they said was that the environmentalists are uh, are you know uh, are against creating jobs in that region so like how do you think green pakistan coalition would uh, you know tackle that kind of situation lawyers to hain of course uh, lawyers do, do you think that they're they're uh, you know uh, inclined towards um, environmental issues are they environmental lawyers in the gpc yes uh, there are uh, lawyers who specialize in environmental law uh, and and so and there are there are there are uh, other specializations like law of the sea which then applies to space so law of space um and then uh, there are many international treaties that pakistan has signed on to so which means that uh, parts of that treaties will become parts of laws whether they are federal or provincial so when mm-hmm. it, so that process uh, has happened and as a result of that we we actually have a ministry of uh, environment and which is now uh, the federal ministry of climate change we are one of the first mm-hmm. second country i think which actually has a ministry of climate change on top of the environment so mm-hmm. the court of laws uh i used to in 1993 help put together the national conservation strategy and mm-hmm. because of the time was so behind mm-hmm. and so we got this big boost big push but unfortunately in the power sector the environment ministry still counted for nothing and I, i'm telling you uh, uh almost with all the government institutions like sipa which has been environmental protection agency and other agencies mm-hmm. it is a, it's going to be a cat and mouse game between mm-hmm. uh let's say uh people friendly lawyers um uh, pro people uh, policies and people who are benefiting from the existing system right mm-hmm. and and okay. i i'm very hopeful that because the 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 law actually is very good in in many respects for example there, there is a law there is a there's an international law and uh, international convention and pakistan mm-hmm. law includes this uh, particular particular kind of law which is called proactive disclosure and what it is is mm-hmm. this openness so if you're a department let's say you're an environment department or the water department now whatever work you are doing and you are supposed to do you just supposed to document it and put it on your mm. website to make a report just put it on your website as simple as that mm. Mm. now the way that our department work is that if it is a legal requirement for a public hearing that uh, the report should be on the website they'll put it on one week before and take it down two weeks later okay uh. so what they're trying to do is hide information and they have this culture of secrecy to not inform the public so in fact instead of providing the service to the people they are mm. for the people they do not want to share information about what is happening about the environment or water mm. in order to people so mm. it's a clear violation of law which exists which says that you have to and this is a very specific list of things that they are supposed to mm. on their website every government mm. department because it is not mm. information whatever they do whatever they're doing whatever their targets are those things are public information and they have to make an extraordinary proactive effort it's mm. quite simple. just put it on your website and it's very easy huh. to check so this is i think one of the very fruitful areas that we can work huh. on असल असल बात ये ना इट्स 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 ऑल अबाउट फ्रीडम ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड आई मीन डेमोक्रेसी इज बेस्ड ऑन फ्रीडम ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इफ 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 पीपल हैव द प्रॉपर इंफॉर्मेशन टू मेक दैट डिसीजन एंड यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट कि इट्स 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 वन ऑफ देयर इट्स इट्स वन ऑफ देयर ट्रिक्स एज टू हाउ दे कैन हाइड दैट इंफॉर्मेशन एंड नॉट प्रोवाइड इट टू द प्रोवाइड इट टू द जनरल पब्लिक अम तो 
the, 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 does the GPC have a proper, uh, you know, structure already, or uh, like how do how do you see it, you know, moving forward? Um, uh, one of the things with Climate March, one of the good things about Climate March uh, was that Murza Wahab uh, mentioned that uh, the government of, 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 of Sindh had, had then laid out a climate action plan. Um, but uh, what, do you, what do you think the, the, the role of GPC would be uh, going into the future? Do you think that it will actually have, an, uh, have uh, as much of an impact as, uh, say, pulling out 3,000, 4,000 people would Uh, can you hear me? Because yes. I turned it off. Okay. Yes, I think GPC will have a very big impact. It is a national organization already. Uh, it is uh, increasing its uh, membership and reach, and hopefully we will have access in every district of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And that's about uh, about a hundred districts. Uh, uh, having said that. You know, which is to increase representation of the issues and people also from all parts of Pakistan. So we we, we have that, but we need to improve on that. Uh, because it's a national or, or organization, we can better connect parts of a particular province which, which are national issues and are are and other provinces are involved in it, such as the mm -hmm. Indus Delta issue. The, the mm. Indus River, which is one of which, which basically gave rise to the Indus Valley civilization, which is mm. the oldest, oldest civilization in all of South Asia. Mm. It's the oldest cities in all of South Asia. Mm. Even India is named after Indus, right? Mm. And what mm. we have done is we have uh, we have we have strangled the Indus from top to bottom until there is no water coming out of the Indus at, at the Delta and the sea is, 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 is gaining ground and we are losing valuable agricultural land to the sea because there is no water, all the water because of the British irrigation system since the 1850s has taken away all the water and later uh, dam building has disturbed the whole ecosystem of this river, right? So we have been extremely destructive with the Indus Delta, with the Indus mm. River and Delta. The Delta mm. is a terrible shape. So when we talk about the Indus Delta, it is not a Karachi problem, it is not a Sindh problem, it is a national problem, and it is dependent on what crops you are growing in Punjab and so and who is growing them, because those people are not willing to change at the moment. Um, uh, again, see, it's it's it, it's it's all about uh, information, and, and 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 it's 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 all it's all about how you use uh, the media or how you spread propaganda and so on. Um, the Abdul Indus Delta ka jo issue hai, like you said, that it's 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 going to eat up a lot of the, uh, a lot of the agricultural land. Plus, um, it's it was the beginning of the uh, like of the civilization of the oldest civilization and so on but, uh, and uh, building dams for example is ruining it but aajkal jo kehte dam build karne ka jo wo bahut zyada you know um, uh, government of pakistan is, is uh, or many elements are pro building dams all they highlight is that oh once once we do build uh, build up dams we will be able to provide a lot more water at a much steadier rate um then they also then, then there's also some um, international political uh, conversation uh, or, or rhetoric as well like for example pakistan versus uh, uh, india the the, the the water uh, the water treaty and everything that gets uh, you know highlighted too so how do you avoid that? How do you? Uh, I mean, like I, I feel like if the uh, if the delta gets ruined, then the entire civilization is going to be affected. So dam banana ka koi aisa fayda hoga nahi. Yani kya tha? Oh, like in 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 the in in the long run, building a dam is going to be much more telling. Uh, so how do you you know bring attention to that? Uh, look, Ahmed, I'm going to give a very you might say silly example, uh, a simple example, but I think it's very revealing. So, you know, uh, mm. until the 70s in Karachi, uh, a warden 
डॉन्की वॉज नॉट बींग ट्रीटेड वेल ओके now mm. we have just seen that the indus river is here and we are trying mm. to lock some to squeeze out the large drop of water the large drop of life mm. out of it not realizing that global warming is mm. actually actually going to reduce all of this water so we still think says it is taking the drying up of the indus can you imagine mm. that that would mean millions of people just walking away from pakistan because there is no mm. agriculture mm. there is no food mm. okay so no these are a uh, nightmare scenario imagine if mm. we had several nuclear the same thing would happen if if we had a nuclear accident the same thing would happen if we had nuclear war the same thing would happen nuclear no, accident i <laughs> just so, 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 sorry i'm interrupting agar agar kanok mein nuclear accident hota hai to the entire entire karachi is going to be devastated we do not have an evacuation plan <clears throat> i mean i've i've i've, I've seen in in while, while i was working at the reed research reactor there was a small accident where an uh, an uh, like a, a friend of mine while changing fuels she dropped a nuclear fuel and the entire area got uh, evacuated <clears throat> yeah exactly like there, there, there was no there was no uh, dent to it and it's only 19.9% enriched uranium the entire area got evacuated which is uh, 250 square uh, to, to uh, uh, like a, a radius of about 250 square uh, you know square feet to <clears throat> पाकिस्तान और जो जो कनुप है वो तो पावर रिएक्टर है हमारा जो रिसर्च रिएक्टर है वो ओनली 19.9 परसेंट इनरिच कनुप इज हाईली इनरिच यूरेनियम लाइक अबाउट लाइक ग्रेटर देन 70 और 80 परसेंट इनरिच यूरेनियम होगा अगर उस पे कुछ होता है तो एंटायर ऑल ऑफ कराची इज गॉन आई मीन आई डोंट मीन टू साउंड वेरी यू नो पोस्ट अपोकलिप्टिक या अपोकलिप्टिक मगर जो कहते हैं um uh yeah so anyway so aap bol rahe hain main just wanted to highlight that real quick i, I don't think it is post apocalyptic at all because we have fukushima we have chernobyl we have three yeah. mile island we have so many uh, nuclear accidents yeah. which have already happened and exactly all the people with nuclear weapons so yeah. i mean you know we, we are humans and we are we are we are extremely destructive so let's let's Face that head on, and then try to make critical decisions, okay, and try to see what where we want to be, and uh, that that requires that countries work with each other on these kind of uh, regimes uh, that uh, that minimize the um, the potential of destruction from all kinds of technologies, you know, whether nuclear or you know biological or whatever. Um, uh, uh, so I mean. Um, Let me go to another example. I was watching this, you know, uh, program on animal. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the animal um, documentary uh, TV channel, right? Animal something. Mm. And uh, so there's this guy who, uh, uh, you know, catches fish all over the world of different kinds of fish, and he's looking for river monsters and those kind of things. Mm. He got the chance to actually fish in the cooling. uh cooling lake it called next to chernobyl Achha. right next, next to, to the 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 lake that was artificial lake that was created to cool the reactor at chernobyl ah wow okay so he got special permission <laughs> because you mm. can't stay in that reactor that whole city is abandoned you know it's still mm. there so it will be for i don't know how many hundreds of thousands no, of like a, yeah for 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 many half lives yeah right And and so he got a chance to fish there because they had looked at different animals and birds to see how they were doing in this high radiation environment, and they found that all of them were not growing up to their full size, and but they yeah. they didn't catch any fish, and and one one fish actually dragged a whole person inside the lake, so they were very curious as to what was happening to the fish. Were they mutating into some bigger monster? Yeah. But he when he actually found the fish he found that uh, a, the fish should have been like 10 times its weight it was like instead of finding a mutant of a monster it was just under nourished and you know small mm. size because of living in the in the region so it's a very sad mm. <laughs> conclusion but uh, you see we're already living it we're already living it mm. 
exactly acha <clears throat> anyway so um uh, we we're, we're closing uh, we're, we're closing you know uh towards uh, the end of the hour so yeah. in, instead of talking about disruption and everything how about we talk about how to get a bit closer to uh nature uh through uh through art and uh education um and in the meantime if uh, people are watching and if they have any questions they can ask any they, they can just comment any questions and then uh we'll we'll ask uh, yasser about that but mera ye sawal hai ki bhai how do we get uh closer to nature through through art yeah um uh, my definition of art is is, is very very simple it's, uh, it's you know it's about creativity it's about rearranging things it's about reconceptualizing mm. things and so you know um we we kind of uh, or or we, we you know you're creative with your apps and you're trying to make make a point you know so it's it's like little very simple things uh, which you can build up into a more impact for kind of a thing so mm. for, for me, art is is just kind of like this and and so art innovation technology creativity for me all of these is work together see the we've forgotten the urdu words for this we forgotten the urdu words for these things ha bilkul absolutely that that's why I've, i've got i was like i can i am aapke awaaz zara se dur se aa rahi hai i was like wait i need to catch the urdu words for it okay okay ijad theek hai which is generally translated as invention uh, and then ikhtira ikhtira hmm. is generally translated as innovation or invention sahi okay. and uh, it's almost like in our culture i mean creativity isn't rewarded in 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 the sense of uh, you know it's generally being a conservative society but mm-hmm. in terms of culture it is your most important resource you, you mm-hmm. can come up with any new solution so mm-hmm. art and creativity and and life thriving and cultural life thriving i mean the, when i when i look at the memes that are on mm. on social media i mean that's that's creativity okay ah. and that, that's cultural popular creativity and it's amazing mm. it's amazing i mean uh, <laughs> yeah i mean we, we haven't even touched on covid but uh, by, when you were when you were talking about uh, you talking about uh, the uh, dengue fever i was thinking okay you know it's this is this is biological stuff this is um, this is about uh, public health so this is the, mm. the exactly the overlap of uh, public health which is a uh, medical medicine field of medicine mm. or environment mm. which again overlap medicine because you know uh, if you have bad air it's going to affect your health but it's mm. also affecting your whole surrounding all the animals and every living thing whether it's under the mm. earth or over on it and, and, and so you know um uh you know things like these yeah ha huh. i mean co uh speaking of uh public health and everything and and the environment covid 19 jo pandemic hai ye hai hi is waise ke jo kehte hain we started uh you know moving into wild animals territories and started you know uh ya ho sakta hai ke jo like hopefully aage ja ke hame pata chalega what exactly uh released unleashed covid 19 on us but uh from like at, at this point in time uh, the the theory basically is that because you know we moved in, moved into uh wildlife territory and uh start eating animals up so uh uske ilawa of course with global warming and everything and with the ice caps melting uh a, a, a lot more uh viruses and bacteria that have been frozen in those ice caps those are going to get released uh as well so acha uh moving on to you know to, to, towards the end i just wanted to ask how can like uh, is a uh, green pakistan coalition um uh, a public open group is it closed uh, is there going to be membership to it how can people um you know reach out to like if, if they have environmental issues how can people reach out to a uh, green pakistan coalition also any it's it's it's, it's not like you're going to go and resolve those issues like i mean immediately right it's 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 more about uh advocacy and advocating for implementation of laws um and policy making correct 
Yeah, look, uh, laws are made in, in parliaments and laws are made in assemblies. So in the assembly, in, our, in the case of Karachi, and uh, um, and uh, uh, if we have a local government, then there would be the mayor's office. Uh, if we if we uh, if we're talking about the federal level, uh, we're talking about the national national parliament. But yeah. since the 18th amendment, most of the business is now back to the provinces where it should be. But some of the local uh, mm. um, uh, local uh, laws have been taken away. Now we have these elected uh, MPAs and MNAs and everything, mm -hmm. and sometimes, uh, in fact, uh, most times they are they are not knowledgeable about the environment. For example, so in that mm -hmm. case, uh, G GPC Global uh, um, Green Pakistan Coalition, you know, it's green. The you know, green is uh, symbolic of you know Pakistan being a right. Muslim, being uh. eco-friendly. So uh. and it's Ramzan, and so you know, there's so many connections. <laughs> And then the like, Pakistan is Pakistan, you know, Mera Mulk, and then uh, coalition. Coalition is all the different actors that we can get together mm -hmm. on the same page with the same agenda, so that we all know exactly what we need to do about water issues mm -hmm. and, and the air, and so it's to map out those things so that whoever, whichever organization is taking the agenda forward, whoever they're mm -hmm. talking. When they talk to the MPAs and mm. MNA, we have a set framework. Okay, this is mm. where one of you want to be. If you want to take this two steps further, this is exactly mm. it's already mapped out. I mean, you can mm. you can you, know, uh, you can improvise and whatever, but no. you will get these points agreed upon by by all the experts that, that, that there are by all the community organizations, human rights organizations, because mm. oftentimes you know it's not. Uh, uh, an issue of birds or uh, or fish. Uh, mm. uh, it's a health issue, but uh, at, at the same time, um, you know, it's a, it's a community issue. So mm. we, we we include civil society. We need, we need mm. well researched, documented uh, studies from academia, whether it's mm. social scientists or scientific like biological, chemical, and so on. So science is very important. See. Uh, I, I would I would I would just uh, tell people to like you know just uh, turn turn the volume off if you start hearing one conspiracy theory because mm. it's just a waste of time, waste of TV, waste of people's uh, attention and cells uh, to follow these conspiracy. Just look at what science is saying, and uh, uh, you know just just go to a scientific magazine or website and look up for COVID. That's all you need to know. Mm. Forget about everything else. So the important stuff is not a lot. It's very concise. It's workable, mm. and and I'm very hopeful that the uh, speed we are we are taking, uh, we will see some uh, action. And I, I think one of the first is that we're going to be uh, filing um, a a petition um, uh, uh, against uh, uh, the authorities in question uh, about mm. the speed usage. Because there is a proposal uh, to develop a commercial activity mm. at the beach, which is a public beach, accessible to be for everyone. Mm. And some elements want to build something there to make a lot of money out of the commercial aspect of it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is this is not okay because first of all, this is the whole thing is done in secrecy, so it needs to be mm. out in the public. And we are the instrument, I think, that can make this happen. So we're going to stop that thing from happening through a court mm. order, and then, mm. and then actually propose an alternative view of what you know the city, uh, mm. the city is. It is a natural resource for the whole city. Mm. Uh, it can be preserved. In fact, we we are even talking about preserving the whole coastline of Karachi. Yes, it's, it's a fanciful idea, but let's see how far it goes. The whole coast of Karachi. As a national marine park, a protected park. I mean, of course, we have to leave the port and uh, the naval installations uh, alone, but we have a clear boundary. Like outside that clear boundary, everything is protected. Say, 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 say. Well, good luck with that. And um, I mean, uh, ho ho hopefully, something positive will come out of the Green Parks and Coalition thing. Um, and uh, I'll definitely, you know, whenever you guys meet next, I'll, I'll come once again. It'll be like after about a 
month, month and a half uh, long of, you know, staying away. Um, uh, like I'd, I'd like to get back on track as well. Um, uh, and uh, uh, I guess we're, we're actually we're exactly at an hour right now. Great timing, it's, Yasser. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, fifth June is uh, Environment Day, so. Yeah. If something is happening, you know, just go, uh, not not go, but uh, you know, participate online. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. World, World Environment Day, uh, hopefully there, 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 there will be a, uh, a lot of things happening. Um, uh, I believe that there's uh, there's Mr. Naim Qureshi's uh, uh, gathering as well. Um, hopefully all SOPs will be followed there and uh, there will be a lot of awareness drives and everything as well. And um, so yeah, so um, uh, like uh, I also wanted to let you know, like the, the sessions that are happening right now, they're a part of the environmental, which I hope will uh, like I'll, I'll be able to develop into an online uh, news slash blog uh, slash you know advocacy platform, um, where uh, where anybody say for for example, if Green Parks and Coalition does something, its news can come onto the environmental. So uh, and you know like and and and, and such conversations uh, through through the environment you can get you can hopefully get to the masses and everything as well. Um, there's okay. A very, there's a very interesting term called media ecology, right? So Sorry. Media ecology. Media ecology. There you go. So Perfect. It's all, these, it's all these flows of information and data going from one place to the other, and you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> there, there you go. There, there, there's something new that I learned uh, today. Thank you, teacher Yasir <laughs> Ustadji. So, um, okay, great. So, so we're, we're at an hour. Uh, thank you, Yasser, for taking thank time so out. Fun. This is a lot uh, of fun. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the, 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 there's so much to talk about. So, hopefully, we, we, we'll have some recurring uh, guests as well. So, Abito, you know, we, we talked about everything all at the same time. But hopefully, uh, uh, next time we have you on, we, we, we'll talk about one or two petitions that that that, that you you know or uh, uh, filed or just about art and just about education and we'll then go from there. Take it. Thank you, uh, Yasir. And I'm just gonna uh, end the broadcast over here and then go from there. And thank you, uh, viewers, for watching us.